I mean, it's fun to go outside, don't get me wrong. But I love to come in here and I get to use my imagination in so many different ways. What I decided to do was do a club and we would have challenges, weekly challenges. It's actually really cool because when you actually get them to work, it feels like you, you've mastered. You've mastered something even though it's just one part, it feels like you're the best at it. It's really fun though. We have four stations. So we have the Raspberry Pi, which is a small computer. I don't even know a lot about it. So they're learning programming skills, computer programming, through the Raspberry Pis. Then we bought Makey Makeys, and they are another programming type device that allows children to be creative and inventive. Um, they were created by some students at MIT, and essentially kids can make a, a controller, they can hook up anything that they could do with their keyboard with this device. So we also have little bits, which are electronic bits that are magnetized, and the kids can create circuits. And there's different projects in the little instruction books. So each I ch have been challenging them so far just to learn the basic circuits, you know, try to figure out how to make things work. And then we also have some engineering stuff. So building, designing, creating. But basically I let them, you know, I give them challenges to try and ex get them to explore and expand and try new things. But um, I also give them time to just free explore or pursue things that, you know, they would like to do. The goal of um, this whole thing now is to make the pig go flying. Everything that we're doing here definitely connects to curriculum. There's so many different ways for kids to represent themselves and their ideas. You see kids that maybe wouldn't feel as successful showing you um, their ability to complete a task, to be successful, to be smart. Um, and to achieve. I feel like I know a lot more. I feel like I can do a lot more and achieve more. A lot smarter. Once I leave here, it's just really smart. Oh, how does that not work? They're grades four to six, um, and they do mingle with each other, maybe as they might not on the playground, because they end up at a station together working on something, and they'll inevitably uh, start problem solving or collaborating. I, I don't even think sometimes they know notice that they're doing it, but it's just kind of the natural way we do business in here. I've seen kids at the Raspberry Pi using Scratch wanting to make a character do a certain motion or a certain action, and they see another child next to them doing that. How did you do that? What did you do? So they'll collaborate and work together um, in order to advance their own skills. You know, failure doesn't mean we quit, it just means you try to figure out what went wrong and how can we fix it. So with the activity where they had to make the pig fly, they had to problem solve, they had to figure out why the ball wasn't traveling down their design the way they wanted to or why it wasn't landing where they wanted it to. And then they had to make adjustments. Oh my God! Yeah! Finally! This is more how I want my classroom running and I want kids being more creative and innovative because that's the world that they live in. And it's so cool you can just put things in and plug them in and turn them on and it can actually work in different ways. It's just so cool to see all the technology being used and figuring out your own ways like programming and like gaming with different things. It's really cool because in movies and stuff you think what it's like to make them and control the people. Well, it's kind of technology and engineering. I, I kind of, I actually, I might actually consider doing that when I get older, so I want to learn about that. I really see this as um, a paradigm shift, really, in education. I didn't think it would be so fun and exciting.